Hello guys and welcome back to Crusoe Digital. Today we're fixing the Steam VR not working problem on Windows easily and quickly. Many players reported that Steam VR isn't working correctly, like crashing or not started, and this has completely spoiled their VR experience. If you happen to be one of them, don't worry, you don't have to search for the solutions everywhere. In this video, we've round up all the common and effective fixes for the Steam VR not working issue. If you're using Oculus device with Steam VR but bump into some weird audio problems, you can check other guides how to fix the Oculus Rift S and Quest 2. Now, let's head to our problem. Fix 1. Change the PC power plan. If your computer is running on the balanced or power safe plan as default, try switching to the high performance option. This will increase the PC performance and might solve Steam VR not working issues. 1. On your keyboard, press the Windows logo key and R at the same time to open the run command, then type powercfg.cpl and click OK. 2. Select high performance. If you don't see it, click the down road arrow next to the additional show plans to expand the list. After the changes are applied, test your VR again. If the issue is still there, check out the second fix, which is update your graphics drive. To ensure Steam VR runs properly and brings the best possible VR gameplay, it's necessary for you to install the latest graphics driver on your PC. If the GPU driver is outdated or corrupted, you'll run into various issues during the VR gaming. To update your graphics driver the right way, there are two options, manually or automatically. Option 1. Download and install the driver manually. GPU manufacturers keep updating their drivers for performance improvements. To update your driver manually, you need to visit the website of AMD or NVIDIA and find the drivers corresponding with your specific flavor of Windows version. For example, Windows 32-bit. Once you've downloaded the correct drivers of your for your system, click on the downloaded file and follow the on-screen instructions to install the driver. Option 2. Automatically update your graphics drive. If you don't have the time, patience, or computer skills to update the graphics driver manually, you can do it automatically with other driver solutions like Driver Easy. Driver Easy will automatically recognize your system and find the correct drivers for it. You don't need to know exactly what system your computer is running, you don't need to risk downloading and installing the wrong drive, and you don't need to worry about making a mistake when installing. 1. Download and install Driver Easy. 2. Run it and click on Scan No button. Driver Easy will then scan your computer and detect any problem drivers. 3. Click Update All to automatically download and install the correct version of all the drivers that are missing or out of date on your system. This requires the Pro version. You'll be prompted to upgrade when you click Update All. Driver Update is a solid fix for many types of programs, glitches, but it doesn't help your case. Take a look at the following fixes. The third fix is to adjust the NVIDIA settings. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, you should set the power management mode correctly to avoid performance issues with Steam VR. And here's how. 1. Right click on an empty space on your desktop and select NVIDIA control pan. 2. Select 3D settings, manage to see 3D settings from the left pane. 3. Click to the program settings tab and click add to select Steam to customize. 4. In the settings, List Locate Power Management Mode and set it to Prefer Maximum Performance. Once completed, check if Steam VR returns to normal. If the problem recurs, there are a few more methods for you. Fix 4. Run Steam VR as an administrator. Steam VR won't work properly when your Steam client fails to access the necessary permissions it requires. So, to resolve this, you should run Steam as an administrator. 1. Right-click on the Steam icon on your desktop and select Properties. 2. Navigate to the Compatibility tab 
and then tick run this program as an administrator and click OK. Then relaunch Steam VR to see if it functions well. If not, move to the next method below. Fix 5. Disable Steam VR add-ons. As some players reported, when certain add-ons are enabled, Steam VR starts to malfunction. You can simply disable them all or do it by one to identify the cause. 1. Launch Steam VR, then click the icon at the top right or left corner and select settings. 2. Select the startup shutdown tab. 3. Click Manage Add-ons. 4. Disable or add-ons, or you could test each one until you find what triggers the problem. Does Team VR work as expected? If not, check out the next solution. Fix 6. Opt into Steam VR bit. If Steam VR isn't performing in the right way, then consider enrolling in the beta version. It delivers the latest features and comes with bug fixes that may bring your Steam VR back on track. 1. Launch the Steam client and go to the library app. 2. Right click Steam from the list and click properties. 3. Select the Bearers tab and then right pane, choose beta Steam VR beta update from the drop down menu and close the window. Restart Steam VR to see if it runs without trouble now. If not, revert the settings back and proceed to the last fix. Fix 7. Disable in game overlay. According to other players, in the game overlay can also be a culprit of the Steam VR not working properly. To see if that's the cause, try to disable any overlays you're using on Steam, NVIDIA GeForce Experience or Discord. Below we'll show you how to turn off the Steam overlay. 1. Launch Steam, then click Steam at the top left corner and click settings. 2. Select the in-game tab and uncheck the boxes at the screenshot. Then click OK to save the changes. Try Steam VR with your devices and see if everything works fine now. If all the fixes above didn't work or do the trick, try perform a full system with that. There may be something wrong with your system missing or corrupted system files can also cause your Steam VR to malfunction. To fix it, you should perform a thorough scan and repair of the computer. You can do that by using CCleaner and using your Windows Defender to scan any malware or viruses. And if none of the solutions worked, you can reinstall the Steam VR. On the Steam library, right click Steam VR and hover over Manage. To click Unistel. Select Unistel and the new window, select Steam VR and click Install. Can you run Steam VR without Steam? Yes, you can. According to the helpful community of the Steam forums, you can run the Steam VR startup files and install them onto another device, like the Oculus Quest 2. From there, you can run Steam VR without needing to open Steam. Other reports state that Steam VR may try to integrate itself with the Steam app, but it should still work regardless. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions regarding the above process. Also, do not hesitate to give us a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.